Okay, so here we go. Saab key is from a Saab 95 year 2000. I went to your juncture to get a twice module just to have a practice uh, twin module. It was pouring, ra pouring rain and I wasn't able to get it off the car. Um, so I got the key. Now, after seeing your video, um, I was like, what in the world's going on? Jareth cannot read this key. I have never read it. This is the first time because I, I, you know, say, well, I'm going to uh, read it later, play with it later once I get the, twi the twin module or whatever. And I cannot get a reading like you. And I'm thinking, what in the world? Now, I know that the best reading is in this area right here on the VDI key tool. As you can see, there you go. Super plus. Um, Toyota transponder right there, obviously. There you go. DST40, Master Key 2 Toyota, ID67. Cool, no problem. So I know. All right, but this one right here, come on. Nowhere. So this video is to open it up and see what's going on. Hi, this is my um, XC90, uh, which I'm going to make a video, by the way. I haven't forgotten um, about the video on the Volvo using the VVDA Prox adapter and the AR32 adapter, but that's on the later thing. Okay, so this key, uh, sub key, blade, uh, two track. Okay, so we're gonna take a stab at it. As you can see, that's the decision. Now I'm thinking, look at the th thickness of this key. That it seems to be rubbery in here, but this should be hard plastic. But what's inside it that I cannot read it? So we're gonna have a nice. We're gonna find out. I know that the, the transponder should be in this area, whether it's here here or right in the middle, but it's got to be closer to the blade. Now I see that it's an opening here and we're going to find out what that is. See what's going on. See it's all robbery. Oops. There you go. It's plastic. Let's just get to the needy and greedy here. I want this stuff out. Sorry, I'm not focusing right. I want to see what's on the other side of this. See what's going on. See what's going on here because you got me curious and I said well what's going on with this thing I know I know these are not the tools that somebody would use and this and that and the other it's okay We know the transponder is not in this top area. So let's see. Okay. 
not so. Look at that. It's like two layers. <laughs> interesting. This is very interesting. You will be able to see that change somehow. No. I think it's a composition of the key. Too many layers. But at the same time, how is it being read? I'm going to cut myself up. Mm -hmm. This is the shell that contains the transponder. If I can get to it without breaking it, that'd be awesome. Uh, let me go ahead and take this out of here. Very rudimentary, yes, I understand that. <laughs> nope, not that one. This one. Ah, yep, break it apart a little bit. Sob. Must be the, or the original. The original key. From Sob, the one that gives problems. Because I know the T5 is fine. Right there. <clears throat> it's like a cocoon. Must be since that is glued too. There we go. There we go. Okay. So yes. It is a cocoon. And it's right here. So it's right there. So if you look transponder is right here. Right here. Get it out. So, right there. Where the blade is. The transponder sits on one of the sides. So, you know it's going to be by the B. Well, it's hard to tell. S. B. Um, This happens to have a mark. I don't know if you can see it right, but uh, right there on that. So no mark here, but I didn't check it out before, so I don't know. But here's the transponder. It looks like it. Yep, right here. This is a weird transponder. See? That's the hole where it came from. And it was... Hell, but it is a transponder. I, I can see that now. Let's see what he says. Looks like... ABS90 something. Three zero one zero five E one four one five four two eight zero three. Now, now that I have it out, now let's bring this puppy up here. 
And let's put the transponder right up here. And see what it's doing. Nothing. Are you serious? Why? There's no markings. Why is it so difficult to read? That's interesting. I don't know why. Nope, it's not reading it. It's not reading at all. Hmm. Well, unsuccessful. I got the key out. We know what it is. But I cannot get it to read. What if I... Hmm, that is interesting. It is very, very interesting. It looks plastic and you can see some... This is rubber. Plastic substance. Let me see. Maybe I missed something here. But no, I didn't miss it at all. It's right here, protected. I mean, it's on one of the sides, but it's not reading. Wow. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Why? It's not reading. Hmm, what about if I dive a little more? Take this plastic casing. Let's see, see, this is rubbery. So I'm gonna peel it off and see why it's not letting the transport to read. What is inside this protecting it? Could this be an isolator? If so, how come it's re how come the antenna reads it? What is the antenna looking for in the vehicle? Because we know that the VVDI key tool is mimicking the same the antenna in the car so it's just try to see hopefully I didn't destroy it sorry it's been, been too long but hey here yeah okay I'm trying to get that stuff out of here see if there's anything else more rubbery stuff in it. Hmm. Interesting. Don't tell me the transponder is that. I believe it. Hmm. But how far do I go? How far do I go? Oh, I can see there. I think I can see it. I think I can see it. I know that air. Oh well, buddy. I don't know if you can see it, but this part right here is hard. Hopefully it's not glass. I don't think so, but you never know. Yep, I can, yeah, I can move it around. 
Let's not glass. Let me get more of that. Nope. Still, nothing. Hopefully, it's not. I don't want to say glass, but hopefully, it's not glass, though. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. This has defeated the purpose. Whoops. Hold on. Back. I dropped it, so. So, let's see. That is very interesting. Oh, what happened? Oh, there you go. Okay, very, very. The plastic on this thing is very flimsy. So I'll be able to peel off the plastic. There you go. Oh, there you go. That's the problem. Yeah, it's done. Well, that was it. So, uh, that's interesting though. Sad, but, so he's pro it's protected by a rubbery substance. It's protected by a rubbery substance. Actually, to be honest with you, the whole transponder, and that's why I mess it up, stink. I don't know. There you go. That's your transponder. The antenna broken. I don't think it's going to read. Nah. Stink. Yeah, I guess I, I messed up the antenna, I didn't, didn't... That's a very weird transponder, by the way. Look. Yep. Well, well, at least I learned. I wish I could have gotten a reading, man. Stink. This, no. Well, let's finish the job and see what's going on here. So, it's a plastic protector casing. And it's rubbery. Sorry. It's rubbery. You can see the antenna has been messed up. But it's because I just mess it up. Uh, stink. I get a good reading of this. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh well. Well, that's your lesson for tonight. Very. That's your lesson for tonight. See what's going on here. Uh, stink. Let's recoil. Okay. Well, thanks, man. Bye.